hello welcome back to my channel in this video i will teach you how to make pop powder how to make pop that can actually last up to six months or one year or more this is the best way to preserve your pop so you don't need to be changing water you don't need to store it in the refrigerator you just need to turn it into powder like this and store it for as long as you want to do it now let's go to make your pop powder the first thing i'll be using for this particular one is corn the first step is to go ahead and wash my corn this is how my corn looks like it is very fresh very fine you can use any kind of corn that you want i'm also going to add soya beans to this this is totally optional okay you can use just corn now i went ahead to soak my soya beans overnight and also my corn next day i'm going to cook my soya beans I think going to washing off the peel because I'm still going to wash this pop, so there is no point. So in here I have both the corn and the soya beans. I went ahead to grind it using commercial blender, and this is what I have here. It's very creamy. You know how our soya milk looks like when we make it on this channel. That is exactly how this particular thing I have in front of me looks. Now, I'm going to wash my corn and this is how I'll be washing it. You can do the regular pattern, the other way of washing your pap. You can wash it anyhow. You can even wash it this way. Please go ahead and like this video, drop a comment and subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to also share this with other people. Also, if you want to buy pap powder, do let me know in the comment section or follow the phone number you're seeing in the description box to chat me up on WhatsApp. We can make any kind of pap powder for you. If you want it mixed, if you want just pap, if you want it with millet and other things, you just have to tell me what you want. And we also ship to anywhere at all. So whether you're in Nigeria, you're outside Nigeria, you can buy this from me. Now this is it after washing you guys this looks like soya milk to drink it smells nice it's creamy and all now you have two options it is either you transfer it into a bag like this and have it sit until the whole water drains out or 
if you don't have a bag you can transfer it into something that can hold it very well just like me transferring from this basin to this bucket and then i'll allow it okay next day the whole thing will settle and then there'll be water to sieve out so i prefer using bag if you have bag that is the best thing to do now after everything this is my pap you can see why i said i prefer using bag so this is what i have right here this looks so fine <laughs> okay next thing i'm going to use my knife and cut this into small small sizes now this is the part i love the most because cutting this it was i felt like i was cutting tofu i also felt like i was doing something different like i was cutting cake to eat <laughs> it's nice anyways the aim is to get something small 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 and then fry fast because i'm going to dry this Once again, you can order your well-packaged pap powder from me. Now, while doing this, you want to make sure that your hands are clean, okay? Because you can see we have to use our hand to do so many things when it has to do with this pap powder. So you want to make sure that your hands are clean. So after drying this is what it looks like this is what i have in two trays at this point you want to use your blender either a commercial blender or your own private blender to blend this into powder and then still sieve using a small sieve so after blending and sieving this is what my pap powder looks like it is as smooth as custard it is very very smooth so you don't need anything extra to store this all you need to do is just get it when you want to add water to it the same way you add water to your pap and custard and then make it that is just it so i use the sieve to sieve it and then this is my pap powder sitting pretty in here so guys that is it thanks for watching i'll see you in my next video